We've had a long and fruitful relationship with Harlequin, which has spanned all of our activity from the live stage to screen to filming on location, um, studio filming. So everything we've needed has been provided by them. I'm Michael Nunn and I am one of the founders and directors of Ballet Boys. I'm Billy Trevitt and I'm the other one. So when we started our own company and then founded our own studio here 10 years ago, uh, we, we called Harlequin and asked if they could come and fit um, permanent floors in our studio and um, they're still here and in remarkable condition. We shot many films, people have tap dance in here, people have done ballet in here, we've filled the place with dirt, filled the place with water um, and it still looks literally brand new. We do all our rehearsing for for the live shows here, we run classes for young adults with special educational needs. We do, we've done kids ballet, we've done yoga, we've done you know, pretty much anything. We have classes in here where we have vulnerable adults and we have people with Parkinson's and it's very, very rare that there are slippery patches on this floor. Um, easy to maintain. And obviously very flat, nothing ever kicks up, there's no trip hazards. And funnily enough, one of our classes had to take place elsewhere a couple of weeks ago. And the first comment was that the floor was really hard there and a bit slippery. So everyone is completely used to working on a sprung floor, you know, whoever you are, whether you're a professional dancer or someone suffering with Parkinson's disease, it's, it still makes a difference and it's still um, of high value. We have a few Harlequin floors that we use for different things. One of them is to turn the studio black. We have a, a grey one that we tour with. Our most recent live show, uh, which was called Deluxe, we had a, a grey floor throughout. Two different uh, acts by two different choreographers, very different styles, very different setting, but the floor remained, remained constant. And um, I guess the dancers in one piece are wearing socks so it needs to be the right kind of um, right level of slipperiness and for the other half we're wearing shoes with rubber soles so totally different um, needs from both acts. We, we made a big feature film a couple of years ago, Romeo and Juliet. We um, took the entire Royal Ballet to Budapest to, to record it in a real environment, so outdoors in a mock Verona, and um, we used Harlequin floors for all that. We knew that we had a very, very limited time to make the film, to actually shoot it, so we knew that the most important thing was that the dancers had no questions or concerns about the floor surface, because if, they, if there was anything wrong with it, then that would have, you know, entirely ruined the, the, the schedule. So we had exactly what they used to dancing on at the Royal Opera House, exactly the same floor covering, just printed by Harlequin. And so that we could reassure them it will be entirely what you're used to. There will be no surprises. The first print was for the, for the town square and that had to look like kind of paving slabs, huge paving slabs. And we configured it in such a way that when it had to move to a new location, do a kind of jigsaw puzzle switch with it and it, if anyone noticed it wouldn't look like the same pattern it would be a new pattern then we had another floor for Juliet's bedroom made to look like a, a wooden mosaic and I think you know the, the look of the film is fundamental with dance about the floor there's something weird about if we'd you know set this this period piece in Verona and they're all dancing on 21st century lino so it had to look authentic and nobody questioned it. It really looked like they were dancing in limestone flags. What this, what this all means to us is that any ideas that we have about future films, you know, we've, we've talked about doing other um, full length ballets, the floor is not a problem. We know that we can achieve, we can achieve something really um, totally convincing that's integrated into the period of the scene that makes total sense and that you wouldn't notice as the viewer. You'd, you wouldn't think, you know, you wouldn't see strips of tape, which so often ruin dance films when mm -hmm. you see that. Um, so whatever it is that we come up with next, we know that we can, we can solve that problem with a Harlequin floor. I think 
I think what's good about our relationship with Harley Quinn is that it's not just a factory that sends us out of floor. We always get to speak to a human being that gets to understand the project we're doing and works with us on how to make it achievable.